Hello, hello, beautiful world. This is Faris Al Hajri, PhDM from Hakko Wellness, Virginia. This topic is quite interesting. It's to understand you, the power of you. Are you fabricated? Are you a man made? Or are you created? So we started with the word created and ended with the may, made because the fact is that we are turning our body like a man-made machine, like fabricated. So it's a time to understand the difference between what is a man-made and what is created. You know? so, so when you look carefully, carefully, at a, anything that is fabricated by a man, whether airplane, boat, cruise, a vehicle, anything, a machine, anything that is made by men is not created. It is fabricated. So we take an example of a vehicle, a vehicle, and that has a lot of various man-made fuels, we call them fuels, bring them under one name, but these fuels fall under different name, different category. Take an example of an engine coolant. Take an example of a engine oil. It's all, all these are falling under the category with one name, the human-made fuels. That's for the vehicle. They are fabricated. The power steering fluid, the brake oil, the transmission oil, all these, they are artificial fuels. They are chemicals. They are not, nothing to do with the, anything with the natural. So these are just fabricated, man-made. But let's go with a human being. That's you. That's you. That's the difference. You are not a human man. You are not a human robot. You are not a human fabricated. You are completely unique with your own very unique intelligence system, the body and soul that function in a very unique, marvelous way fully relies on its own natural fuels. And these fuels, compared with the vehicle, these are natural fuels, particularly, specifically, water, oxygen, hydrogen, and energy. That's all. So all these, they fall under the one name, they come from the hot water. And these are natural fuels. These are created. They are not man-made. Man doesn't make water. Man doesn't make oxygen. Man doesn't make, I mean, human. Man means in general, as man means feminine or masculine. But I mean, human does not fabricate hydrogen, does not fabricate energy. No, even energy cannot be created, cannot be destroyed. So. All these elements, all these elements, they form the most essential part of the human body because of the time of the fetal growth. The amniotic fluid itself is composed of all these four elements. No more than that, except just a very tiny percent, percentage of just one person, which is the collagen and non-collagen protein for the baby. But the 99% comes from, from these elements, water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy. So the, you, these are created. So you are created. You are not fabricated. You are not man-made. So you need to understand here how sensitive is your body, how crucial is your human body. Anything goes to your body, it poses a question mark. Go to the next.
is my seventh glass sunblock from morning. So I make sure I take minimum three liters of hot water every single day of my life. Now, well, Aqua denotes to Hot Aqua. It's a brand, it's our brand. We are the founder of aquapathic medicine, aquapathy. So it's now changing more than to say hydrate. Now I don't, not only hydrate my body, but I aquate my body. And aquate is to inject your body, to make your body available with all these elements that I just mentioned. So when you go to these four essential elements, I, I coined them under one name. The four essential elements of life. The feel, F-E-E-L. So again, water, oxygen, hydrogen, and energy. That's all. These are the body's essential fuels. War he. War he comes from the water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy. So just remember that. Now, very interesting, when you look at yourself, your human body, this is you. Now, anything that take, you take to your body is a foreign body. It goes as a question mark. When you take drug, remember, drugs, the medications, and man-made fuels, these are chemicals. They do not solve the root cause of any health complication, but only the symptom. But they may do good, but they may leave harm more than do good, because these are chemicals. And these chemicals, the once you take them to a body, our body is not made, is not created to accept these chemicals, the man-made, the fabricated fuels, the drugs are fabricated. So these they pose a threat to our body. And they're not except just poison because of the old chemical and they're completely foreign bodies that our body intend to reject. Our body reject more than accept. That's the reason when you give a child the medicine, the child is fighting, will throw it out because the child cannot tolerate. The child is still has all these elements formed in the body because just was formed in the womb of the mother, including you, everybody passed through that stage. In the womb of the mother, it's all these elements are the one, the essential, the ex exclusive source of creation and growth. So the moment the child is born, he's still with the, all these elements filled in his body or in her body. That's you. But as we grow older, we are gradually depleted from these natural fuels and most dangerously is when we start to rely on chemicals induced to our body. Worse is with the drugs. Drugs are just, it's what? It's just material. We pay money to buy the drugs, but we kill ourselves gradually because these are chemicals. So we pay two price. The material price, which is the money you pay, whether it's your insurance, whether it's from your pocket, whether it's the government providing all your, your job, whatever, whatever, you are paying the price directly and indirectly. And you're paying two, two, two price, the material, financial, and the chemical that you have used to your body. So go to the next, even food, excess foods. The way we eat, majority of the people, is completely wrong. We eat in a large portion of food, an entire plate of food, on a daily basis. This is completely wrong. So excessive food, excessive food, I consider it it's poison. Because, again, they will turn into toxins in your body. They will accumulate sludge. Because your enzyme to break down this food, they need just three, I mean, you have four, Parts. Three quarters of these parts is for producing energy, is for producing energy for the cells, to provide energy for the cells. The last, the quarter of that is to build up the muscles from the amino acids. So 
the enzyme already sees it get the en energy it needs for the cells. Then the, the remaining of the food turns into sludge and that become a poison to you. They, that's, those are the one may cause also other health complications. So most of the health complications come from the excessive food that we eat every day in our daily life. That's the reason I say I'm coming to, about, about, to talk about the Hakwa diet. So understand that your body needs the fuels. They need the human body's fuels as number one. And all these fuels are coming from how water, the source of creation of every human being and development, growth, water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy, excuse me. Wow, it's so delicious. I'm used to eat and I'm addicted. Hmm. Wow. For you to achieve the so-called the PAMS health. I coined these as PAMS health. The entire holistic health of human being. And we will define what, what, is, what, are, what, what is the meaning of the PAMS health and you need to understand that your body need to go through a new system of diet there is no one diet that fits all fits everybody so we come with a new system of diet they call we call it we coined it aqua diet so you need to say farewell bye-bye to breakfast you don't need to put the timing for breakfast you don't need to put timing for lunch you don't need to put di di uh, timing for dinner. Just have a dinner, have your lunch, have your breakfast for social purpose. Eat when you, f crave, for f for when you crave for food. So you may eat your breakfast irrespective of the time. Just eat when you crave. And you may remember, you can do cheating day once or twice a week. So you cut down the volume of your food as much as you can and substitute with the, ha the, the, the hakwa. So you, you, hot water is more important than your food because your body needs more water than it needs from food. Because a little food is enough for your body. All your cells to build up the muscles and cells and everything and the energy needs. It's just a smaller quantity your body needs. Remember, cheating day once or twice a week for you to achieve entire health. And PEMS health denotes, as you can see below, the physical, the emotional, the mental, and the spiritual health. So this was just a glimpse to explain to you the importance of uh, understanding you, your power, the you, the body, and you're the soul, that you are completely unique. Do not let your body to be touched easily just like that. Little headache, you have to go to a physician, get a paper, prescription drug. Now many doctors, they try to reduce prescription drugs because they already know the side effect of the chemicals induced. So we are entering a new evolution of health. The world is changing, most especially after the COVID pandemic. Now, now more people will be more inclined into holistic and cut down. So it's a kind of a lifestyle change. You change your lifestyle. Maintain your physical fit, your emotional fit, your mental fit, and your spiritual fit so that you have no fear at all with so-called the virus, the coronavirus, or any virus that any infection, any microorganism that enter your body, your body has its own innate ability to self-healing self-protection and self-maintenance. Look at the osteopathic medicine. That's been very clear, very well defined. But again, your body needs these fuels to maintain its own efficacy, perfectionism, to function very well. So have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and I wish you, everybody, wonderful health, but please, we're doing all this for you. We need your encouragement. Like our video. Subscribe to our channel if you did not subscribe. Share 
to others. With this, we can make a better world. It's from your support. We can do better. Somewhere, somehow, somebody's life will be touched. Somewhere, somebody will come and say, thank you. I'm doing well now. My health is completely much better than before. And please, come with your testimony. Why do we see most of the testimony in my YouTube channel, 40,000 subscribers, now 40,100. More than 5 million views, but 90% or 95% the Arab speaking language. Most of them. Yes, I'm from Arab country, I'm from Middle East or Sultanate of Oman. I'm here in the United States for five years. But in Oman, when I started to do all this campaign of spreading, it was growing just like that. And the Arab, spe Arab speaking uh, 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 brothers, sisters, they are now more believe more than the English speaking people, more than the American people, more than other people. Hey, come on, you. Whatever, whoever you are, whatever the language you speak, we need you to support yourself. Because when you support us, we support you. With the more we bring topic to you, we bring to in English language, French language, Arabic language, Swahili language, because I'm born in Africa. So I wish you wonderful health. Please get yourself used. How quiet your body. How quiet revitalize. So we do not treat diseases, we help you revitalize your body back to its stage, the state of the physical, the emotional, and the mental health. Because you were created in that perfectionism. Remember when you were a child in the womb of the mother, a baby, and when, remember when you were born, you were born in complete Pam's health, holistic health, all these four aspects of health. But as you grow, you'd get depleted because nobody tells you to do the hack or vitalize. Maintain the fuels to your body. I wish you a wonderful day, beautiful world. Please, we need to see more speaking, English speaking, you know, people who will participate, will like, will subscribe, will share. We need your support. Thank you so much. It's delicious. Wow, I'm used to it. I'm addicted. Mm. Amazing, isn't it? You gotta be used to it. You'll be addicted to it. It's just a matter of be can do. Believe, implement, continue, appreciate discipline, understand. That's all. Wow, I love it. It's your turn. Bye-bye.